What's up guys? If you've uh, watched my YouTube introduction channel by now, you'll know that I'm starting a whole new series on 3D printing. Um, this is something I've been wanting to get into a while to show, um, you know, some the comparison of some of the 3D printers out there. Some of, a lot of them are expensive over about like a thousand dollars. So if you read any of the, if you read the Make magazine, you'll see that the Prusa i3 is uh, one of the top rated 3D printers out there. That one's only about, I think it's like $800 or a thousand if you want it assembled. So that is a really great price and it's one of the better printers out there. I didn't want to spend $800. So instead of getting the Prusa i3, I ended up getting the Annette A8, I believe, um, 3D printer. Uh, once you look at the description, actually, like I think they even say Prusa i3 on it because they're, they're targeting that they're duplicating it for a lot cheaper. Um, probably less expensive, less um, reliable components, but you are building this thing up from the start, uh, from the ground up, so you will know how to fix those things when they go wrong. I think it's a, you know, it's a very competitive price. I think it's like $150. So you're saving a lot of money when you have to swap out a component. You're going to actually be able to afford it because uh, $650 difference right there, not bad at all. Um, so, so this is a video on the Anet i3 uh, printer. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing, show you what you in the box um, so that when you take it you'll know what you're going to have to deal with. I'm not going to be doing a, a video on taking it and putting it together because they already provide that on their website. So this is just showing you, um, the, I'll do a quick first print on it showing you the the uh, comparison that I don't have um, I don't have an i3 Prusa, a Prusa i3 printer. Um, but just showing you that this one is good enough if you're a starter, if it's something you just kind of wanted a job shop uh, 3D printer inside of your basement. So uh, here's here's the unboxing. All right. So opening it up, um, you got some foam straps over here. I'll just pull out the whole thing for you to see. Looks like it's pretty. Pretty well contained, I'll give you that. All right. All these. Okay, so, when you open it up, when you open it up here, you'll see, let me get all these guys out of the way. That's pretty annoying. Oh wow, there's like tiers of foam here. Okay, so, it's interesting they just did it like that. So, get this out of the way. The first shelf here, this is on the top. Second, third. Really well organized, again, for, for getting this. Um, I think it's like a Chinese knockoff, to be honest. It's, again, $150. Um, not sure yet how to actually build this together, but I wanted to just get a look of what we get here. This was on the top of the box, this is in the middle. This is the end. Uh, you see some of your models, your structure, uh, some metal frames, some build plates. So I'm going to put it together and then at the end I'll try and do a quick build of uh, something pretty simple, hopefully. Um, again, I've never 3D printed anything before, so this is all brand new to me. I'm new to it, but uh, I should be able to tell you uh, my expectations versus what actually comes out of this thing. Um, so keep on watching to see this guy completed. 